Welcome to Dr. Jesse Rant, and I'm gonna rant about this. From Boundless to Comics, NetherRealm Studio faces massive fan backlash over Tanya's redesign in Mortal Kombat 1. If you look at this image here, you can barely recognize... No, 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 I change... I'm gonna rephrase that. You don't recognize the original character, you think it's something new. But it is not. It's in fact Tanya. This one here. It's amazing how technology really manages, manages to grow and change and, and get more detailed. And yet, and yet, it manages to make the characters, the female characters, look even worse than older technology like this one. It's amazing how the females manage to get ugly. Hmm. This makes me think that the new technology is more is way more misogynistic than the actual old technology. The old technology, the females look like women. With the new technology, the females look like abortions, aborted fetuses. They look like somebody shot them out of their own poop hole and call it human. Or they set the baby on fire, trying to put it out with a hammer, and the village idiot thought, Hey, this is my baby, after putting out that fire with a hammer. It all looks goddamn fucking ugly. Yeah, I'm starting to think that the new technology is patriarchal in nature, because the males look good. They look really good. Like, really males, like males that you like to strive for. But the women look like goddamn fucking messes. Look at this, this is old technology. Look at this, this is old technology and you get this shit. What the fuck? Anyway, here's what one person said. Why is Tanya so ugly? Why man? Everything else looking awesome, but this gotta be the worst downgrade I've ever seen in Mortal Kombat 10. Tanya went so hard. Yeah, it seems to be a trope on Mortal Kombat games. Well, technically on every single technological advanced game out there. But uh, it seems to be a really a trope for Mortal Kombat. Every single iteration since Mortal Kombat 10 has been a downgrade. In every single way, including Mortal Kombat 11 and the others that came out later. Look at this. Do you honestly think this absolute monster, this abort aborted monster here looks like the original? No, it does not. I think this is misogynistic. How can they allow such a new technology portray woman like this. This looks like she was aborted. Or at least maybe she was on a back alley. The mo her mother was on a back alley. And the doctor came in and tried to ab abort her and it was a botched abortion and this baby came out. Maybe the doctor was trying to abort her with a coat hanger that was uh, rusted cold hunger and trying to and this shit came out but it she does not look anything like the actual actress shorty she doesn't look anything like the actual actress or model or whatever because apparently this abortion here was modeled after her it doesn't look anything like her maybe the I think it definitely is a theory that I'm working on it. The new technology is definitely 100% way more misogynistic than the old technology. Because it's the only way one can explain it. If you try to model this monster after an actress, and a beautiful actress, and came out with this nonsense over here, it's just absurd. Look at this! Even this thing here looks a bit of a monster. This one is the most monstrous thing in there. And this one is monstrous-ish. How can they do it? I know, I know, I know it's a trope on Mortal Kombat. Look at this, Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat 11. It's a disaster. 
pretty much the same thing here. Mortal Kombat 2 looked way better than Mortal Kombat, well, 11. Mortal Kombat 9 and the the alt and the, the, the normal clothing for Mortal Kombat 9 looked way better than Mortal Kombat 11. Or whatever these shits over here are. MKD. Mortal Kombat, uh, I forgot what the D stood for. Uh, they all looked way better than this nonsense. So I'm pretty sure that it's just as expected. Look at this monster. New or this monster over here. They're all goddamn shits. Or maybe they are making the new technology to represent the three grid uh, they them mafia to try to appease them and um, the males look better. Because they then get a fappy fappy on those. And look at this nonsense. Way better here than this nonsense over here. Look at the abortion this, this thing is. This thing looks aborted. Mortal Kombat 11. It's all nonsense. Look at what the guy said back in the day when Mortal Kombat 11 came out. Our character lead, Brendan George, has been a breath of fresh air. I'm just introducing new ideas. Our design is just getting more mature and respectful. Like, totally. The males will look smashing, but the females will look like a bot that fits itself. Mm, because abortion needs to happen. Bad, bad, Supreme Court. Mm. You're not, you're not going to wear a bikini to a, to a fight, but you will definitely wear a speedo or a bunch of shorts, but completely open chest for males. Mm. You're not going to be showing so much skin, except you're for male, and I think it's just what the games are about. You're going to fight mm, to fight for your life, and you're not going to be wearing such scandally clad items, unless you're a male, of course. Hmm. I'm sure that will disappoint some fans. We don't have bathing suit fighters except for a male, and I think that's fine. If people are disappointed, I don't regret making changes by any means. Mm. Well, here we are. Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat 11, or Mortal Kombat 9. A certain downgrade. And why are you wearing Skippy outfit, Johnny Cage? Baraka um, and all the other characters over here. Liu, Liu Kang. Why are they all wearing skimpy outfits? Whoopsie! But yet, somehow, they created those excuses. Hey, here's a meme that is getting quite predicted. Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat 11, the abortion. Mortal Kombat 13. We're gonna get something like this, aren't we? And if they pull off the the clothing, she's going to look like a man. Well, before I continue, here's a trailer.
we are back. So, in summary, what we are trying to say, get into here is that technology, an improved technology to make people look more humans, is in fact misogynistic. Women look like aborted fetuses from a back alley, and men look more, more human, more, well, yeah, human, more realistic. Females, less realistic. I wonder what it is. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. I wonder how how the women will look like in Mortal Kombat 14. Will they look like humans or will they look even more like an abortion? What is wrong with you, Nether Realms? What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night.